Okie dokie, let's try one more time. Oops, not paying attention. Wow, that was not easy. It's uh, 11.30 on <laughs> a Tuesday, and uh, I got the chain off the boat. And uh, you probably can't see it very well, uh, but it's 200 feet of um, either half or five eighths. I'm not actually sure. Uh, it's heavy. It's, it's really fucking heavy. And to get it off the boat, I drop the the anchor, and it's 20 something feet here in the marina. And then I let the chain play out to the ground uh, while I was inspecting it, while I was playing out from the windlass. And then I got on the dock and hauled it up onto the dock by hand. So uh, that was fun. Um, turns out he pre marked it. That's cool. I'm gonna take that flashlight I was just wearing and uh, show you what that guy's looking what that looks like I'm exhausted um, <laughs> and uh, clean up my mess because uh, I got 200 something feet of chain on the deck and uh, I imagine the marina won't be too happy if I leave it that way until tomorrow so I'm gonna flip the camera around let's take a look so I'm using my flashlight to let you guys see this this is the 45 pound CQR uh, anchor and then you can see here the uh, the paint uh, dictates where the uh, the uh, 30 foot marks are, and uh, this is this here is 180 plus what's still in the water, um, and then the uh, access off the boat. So here's our problem. This right here has developed a lip. There's a lip here too, but there's a lip down in here and it's creating a catch that the uh, the chain is getting caught in as I try to bring it up. So we're gonna take this thing apart. Uh, sorry about the shadows. Um, we're gonna take this thing apart and see what we can't see about fixing it. But let me see if I can't get an angle on those. You see that little tooth right there? That's That's messing me up real good here. So, here we go. Here we got some numbers right here. It's labeled CHWSO-2. Okay, well, that's the windlass. Um, guess time to find parts or modify the part I got. Try to fix it. Blacksmith Ahoy! Okay, uh, 
that thing bad. <laughs> um, I ended up having to use the Dremel, a simple little sanding bit on it, and I went through and I sanded all these surfaces here. And it is nighttime in California, so you can't see anything. But really simple process. Just took the just took the little tiny lip off, and I'm hoping that the chain can slide off of it easier now. All right, working in the dark again. <laughs> so sanded the uh, brass drum, and uh, I think it'll work. Um, what happens is the drum rides on this surface here. And then the uh, the actual drive plate connect or drives off this surface via a key, so the drum is freewheeling unless oh, look at that took a big bite out of that. Um, this thing is tightened down on it, so it makes it really easy to take this thing apart, just like that. Put the key in, Put the clutch. Okay. Take up some sheet. Release the snubber. Looks like I gotta 